Okay, well here's what the first one looked like whenever we got done. We had to pull the extra one half out at the end, and remember we said that the most important step is that we have to double the angle every time. So when we went from cosine squared of 2x to this, we had to double the angle to 4x. Remember that as we work through this problem with tangent. All right, so I look at this, tangent to the fourth, the same exact first step. The first thing that I'm going to do is instead of writing it as tangent to the fourth, I'm going to write it as tangent squared times tangent squared. Because now when I do that, when I write as tangent squared plus tangent squared, I can write this now using the power reducing formula of 1 minus cosine cosine of 2x over 1 plus the cosine of 2x times itself. Now the issue here, and I got that from this formula, right, tangent squared of u, I had to double the angle, of course, from x to 2x. The issue is, is whenever I square this, when I take tangent times tangent, right, tangent squared times tangent squared, it's a FOIL problem on top and bottom, so it's a lot of work. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and FOIL this out. Sorry, there's no easy way around it. The top ends up being 1 minus 2 cosine of 2x plus the cosine squared of 2x. The bottom ends up being almost exactly the same. One difference is going to be 1 plus 2 cosine 2x. I'll leave that to you to go ahead and factor out, okay? To go ahead and foil out, excuse me, not factor, foil. All right, so we're almost done, except that now we see once again we have cosine squared, and we're told that everything has to be first power. It's okay that it's cosine. It's okay that it's multiple angles, two x's, okay? That's what we expected. But we need to get rid of the squares here, which means replacing these with fractions again. So this ends up being 1 minus 2 co cosine of 2x plus, and now cosine squared of 2x we can write as, let's see, that's where my sheet go. There we go. Cosine squared can be written as 1 plus cosine double angle over 2. So that becomes 1 plus the cosine of, and now since I'm using the power reducing formula, I have to double it again. We're up to 4x. That's all over 2, right? And that 4x is the thing that you're going to miss. Down here, same exact thing, except we have 1 plus 2, cosine 2x. All right. Now, let's factor a 1 half out of the top. Let's factor a 1 half out of the bottom. Let's see where it gets us. Factoring a 1 half out of the top and the bottom, I end up with this. Um, one half I would need to multiply by 2 to get up here. I would need to multiply by 4 cosine x, excuse me, 2x, to get to the middle term. And then the one half and this actually end up canceling out, so I'll, I don't have a fraction anymore. That's the beauty of doing that. The bottom is going to be exactly the same thing, except it's going to be plus 2 cosine 2x, so I'm going to turn it into plus 4 cosine 2x. 2 plus 4 cosine 2x plus 1 plus the cosine of 4x now. And the reason that I did that is because those go away, and I'm left with 2 plus 1. I can combine into 3, but I also have the minus 4 cosine of 2x plus cosine of 4x. On the bottom, I have once again 2 plus 1, that's 3. This time it's plus 4 cosine of 2x plus cosine of 4x. And that is as simple as it gets. 